Tonight we're learning more about the background of a concrete pump truck driver who crashed into a school bus in Bastrop County 10 days ago. Documents show the driver, Jerry Hernandez, had a history of failed drug tests. KVU's Isabella Basco joins us in studio now to tell us a little bit more about his background. Isabella? Well, Brian and Quita, the U.S. Department of Transportation's Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration has declared Jerry Hernandez to be an imminent hazard to public safety. And here is why. It's a scene that supply chain and logistics expert Dr. Joe Michaels says should have never happened. The side of Jerry Hernandez driving a concrete pump truck. He drove illegally. This is a booking photo from when Hernandez was previously arrested in January. Documents show Hernandez had positive drug tests in 2020, 2022, and 2023. According to Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, Hernandez was prohibited from operating commercial motor vehicles at the time of the school bus crash based on an April 2023 positive test, which showed he had used cocaine. Starting in November, federal regulations will require states to terminate a commercial driver's license if it's indicated in the Drug and Alcohol Clearinghouse that the driver has a prior history of drugs or alcohol. Currently, the Texas Administrative Code indicates there's a waiver for concrete pumpers. He should never have been allowed to operate uh, the uh, pumper truck. Uh, he was prohibited from driving the pumper truck and his employer uh, failed to verify his status. Court documents reveal Hernandez's employer failed to conduct a background check and did not know about Hernandez's previous positive drug charges. Dr. Michaels calls this a common issue in the trucking business. The commercial motor vehicle and the long haul transportation industry uh, is struggling right now, trying to find enough qualified drivers that are safe, licensed, insured drivers to be able to operate their vehicles. Personal injury trial lawyer Todd Kelly says the employer could face civil liability. If I were to handle one of these cases, I would absolutely sue both, both Hernandez and the concrete company uh, because both are responsible. We need more people to enter the uh, trucking industry that are safe, careful drivers. On the day of the crash, court documents show Hernandez told investigators he had three hours of sleep and used cocaine earlier in the morning. He's charged with criminal negligent homicide. And we reached out to Hernandez's employer, but haven't heard back yet. Brian and Quita, 